Wow, some of you really did not like the last video, huh? Oh well. Anyway, we bought another collection from a friend. So without further ado, let's get into it. So here it is, another collection that I picked up from my friend. Without further ado, let's go straight into it and see what is so valuable about this collection and why did I pick it up, okay? So let me zoom into the camera a little bit over here. You're going to see a lot of Neos, a lot of Neos and probably a lot of base sets and also uh, base set 2. First things first, you got to check the condition of some of the cards, right? So for Houndor itself, I really hope that the hollow is still pretty bleeding clean. Houndor still looks pretty cool. Uh, probably a few pressure marks, I would say. A few pressure marks here and there. But overall, the hollow is actually really, really good. If you look closely, you will see a very nice swirl auric over here. That's one thing I really like about hollows. But the back of the card, not too bad. Pretty generous. Not, not too bad of a pickup. So I'll put this sleeve back. And this whole collection itself, there is just three main cards that I'm very much um, waiting, awaiting to also show to you guys, which is one of the three main reasons why I picked up this whole file. So we have Raichu over to Jumpluff um, Jungle, not really important cards. Dark Weezing, was it a Hollow? I'm not too sure. Is it a Hollow Dark Weezing? No, it's not. It's not a Hollow Dark Weezing. Neither is it a first edition. It's fine. Uh, oh, like Arcanine, yes, definitely. This is one of the cards itself. Like Arcanine uh, goes for a pretty few bucks, but you just have to love once again what I said the swirls in this card. So sick. Look at that fat dot right there. This is insane, man. There's one dot, one fat hollow dot over here, there's one swirl right over here. This is amazing. This is just pretty damn amazing. You don't see art like this anymore in the modern day cards. Uh, Misty's Gyarados, I think I see a few scratches already here and there. Uh, pretty heavy scratches on the card. Yeah. Eh? No, no though. The print lines are fine. Not much hollow bleeds towards it. Condition is pretty good though. The next one would be Giovanni's Gyarados. Giovanni's Gyarados. Um, not too bad condition as well. Wow, this guy took really good care of his cards, man. I mean, really, compared to the last series that I did, if you guys actually watched it, the last series I did, the last person that I bought it from really did a very, I wouldn't say a really bad job, but the person just did not sleeve their cards up. Um, there were scratches and everything, but look at the hollow, though. Oh my lord. This is absolutely gorgeous. Fucking hell, man. I'm sorry, I'm... I'm I mean, I'm just really excited. Uh, I, I paid quite quite a quite a bit for this collection, and the main reason is just right over here. I'll skip everything, just so I know what everyone wants to see. Ampharos, Dark Gyarados, which is not hollow. We have the Entei, and the base set unlimited, big fat boy, Charizard. Oh lord, I haven't seen you in, I, I can't remember how many years, man. Take you out your sleeve, and you deserve the most zoomed in. What the hell, dude? And the best part is, why I decided to pick up this album is because if I put this under the ring light, just look at the hollow. Look at the hollow on this Charizard. There's barely any scratches, and it's in pretty pretty good shape. I'm not going to go on a limb and just say that this is going to be a PSA 8 or 9 or whatever the hell it is. Because I don't do that. But for a card that came out so long ago and for someone to take such good care of it, this just blows my mind, man. If you flip it around, if you guys care about centering itself, centering is actually pretty damn good. Um, the edges itself, probably a bit of a dirt mark which I can clean up with the, with the um, cotton ear, but centering is pretty fine. I'm just very, very amazed that this Charizard itself, after so many years, this guy really took so much good care of his cards. He took such good care of his cards. My God, I holy shit! Wow. I I'm I'm just really lost for words, man. G give me a give me a second. I'm I'm just gonna sleeve this up.
one eternity later. So going back into it itself, you see Entei as I mentioned just now. Entei, Jumpluff, um, Fossil Dragon Knight. We have uh, the, I think, um, Base Set 2. Base Set 2 Gyarados over here. Uh, Miracle and Rainbow Energy, which is not hollow. Dratini, Raichu, and Rocket Zapdos. Oh my god. Another really, really good card. Uh, I haven't checked the condition of this card. We basically jumped the gun the moment I saw the Charizard. I lost 99 kinds of shit. Rocket Zapdos, please be good. Please be good. I'll put it under the light. At the first look of it. Oh, fucking hell. This dude who takes care of his cut so well. I love you to death, man. Look at that fat round swirl right over here. You can see the rain droplets. You can see the cloud. One thing I love, I freaking love about Rocket Zapdos is just a freaking bird in the clouds shooting out thunder. You see swirls around it and you see rain in the background. What the hell, man? It's so freaking cool. Then we move on. We have the normal Houndoom, Raikou, and also Entei. Probably there's no Suicune inside here. A zoom arrow that uh, I think I have abundance of. The Neo Kabutops, Wobbuffet. And the final, final page brings us to this final big one. Shining Gyarados. We're gonna take a look at Miss Dreavers first. Maybe a bit of a print line here and there. It's a hollow circle right here that blends into the, to the black ball that she has over here. Super, super sick. Man, this is one, I think this is one of the best collections I've bought so far. And our final contender from this $1,000 purchase is the Shining, Shining Gyarados. I haven't checked the condition, I swear to god. Let's just gamble on it together. 3, 2, 1. Pull it up. Put it under the ring light. Come on, shine for me. Shining Gyarados. Do you have any scratches on you? Clean, clean so far. Clean? Seems pretty damn clean. Oh yes, baby. Seems very, very clean so far. The back doesn't look really that good. Um, don't know whether you can see it up here. There's pressure points over here on the card. Uh, maybe a bit of a print line and scratches along the ball. So that happens to be one of my favorite purchases this year itself, since coming back into the hobby. Uh, if you want to know, I made a very thorough cleaning towards the Charizard card because there was a lot of, I would say, dirt marks that was accumulated through the years itself. Um, I think there will be a video over here that mainly I posted on my Instagram. I used a Q-tip, but I did it in a circular motion. I did it in a circular motion. I used Q-tips. I used the cloth that you use to wipe your glasses. The condition-wise, as you can see from the video itself, maybe a little whitening here and there. But definitely, the hollow wise is extremely, extremely clean. No more dirt marks on the back and also on the front. Took me probably about 15 minutes or so just to clear everything up. But definitely, one of my best purchases this year itself. So if you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like. If you didn't like it, please do thumbs down. Let me know what else you would like me to cover or what you would like me to change. I mean, hey, we're all in this hobby together, right? As long as we're having fun, it's all fine. So until the next one. Bye-bye.